What's up YouTube? My name is Jackson and this is my Montana Grizz Dynasty. Today we have a week 14 matchup with the North Dakota State Bison. And if you watched my video last week, I really hope y'all liked the intro that I made. I made another custom intro for this video using real life footage. So I hope y'all like this one as well and stay tuned to the end of the video because if you haven't seen my Montana Grizz basketball dynasty, you're going to want to watch it. If you've seen any of my Montana football dynasty, then you'll know that Jason White is a beast. And if you watch the basketball dynasty, you will definitely see how much of a beast Jason White actually is. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and like this video and subscribe for more great college football and basketball content. I'm going to be uploading consistently and I'm working very hard on my content every single day up until the release of EA Sports College Football 25. I'm super excited for that game and I know most of you guys are too, but we're gonna keep playing some college football revamped until that game comes out. And we're also gonna be live streaming some March Madness Legacy, which is pretty much college basketball revamped. And that's what I use for the Montana Grizz Basketball Dynasty when I play NCAA Basketball. 10. So without further ado, I'm going to show y'all the intro that I've cooked up for this video. I'll get my guys fired up, show y'all the uniforms as always, and I will see y'all after the kickoff this time. Thank you so much for being such a great audience. Once again, like the video, subscribe to the channel to help me grow, and I'll see y'all on the field. You are looking live at Washington Grizzly Stadium in Missoula, Montana. Let's go, bro. Let's go. We are off. All right, here we go, guys. First drive with the Grizz. I hope y'all like these videos because I've been putting in a lot of work for the intros. And we got Bergen with a great run on the first play of the game. He got his first touchdown off of an end around last week. And this time he gets a big run on the first play from scrimmage for us. What a start, gentlemen. We got Gilman out here, ready to run the rock now. He shakes a tackler. Gilman reverses field, and he only gets two, but it's all right. McDowell in the shotgun. Gilman to his left. Here's the handoff. He's going to take it and juke inside, and he'll get about four yards on the play, and it's a third and four. The Grizz have been running the ball very effectively so far. McDowell will make his adjustments at the line. Here's a play action. He rolls out. McDowell. Running, diving, look at him score. Clifton McDowell with his first rushing touchdown of the day and the Grizz are the first ones on the board. We did run the ball a lot last drive and we're gonna change it up with our, our uh, the way we call the game too. We got Y wide open. We got our, that's our backup tight end, Eric Barker with a nice catch on the sideline. Good route, way to get lost in there. All right, we're gonna give Gilman a rest here and bring in Ostimo to run some routes. And we got him wide open over the middle of the field. He's gonna make a move. Ostimo has a chance, but he's gonna get drugged down at the 10 yard line. We need to reach our challenge for 250 yards passing in this game. And we got our guy, but we just didn't give him a good enough ball. A little bit of miscommunication there on offense. Guys, let me know if y'all want to see the face cam come back for the next video too, because I took it away for this one just because I wanted to go back to basics. But if y'all want to see the face cam come back, then uh, go ahead and hit the comments up. But we're going to let Ayat throw the football here. He's got Ostomo, and Ostomo has a touchdown from the backup quarterback, who should be the starter next season. Let's check our studio update. Reese is going to hit us with something. It's a Big Ten action. And it looks like Penn State's got a good team, but they're struggling early against Michigan State at home. So while we were simulating the defensive action, Junior Bergen got his... Ooh, he got another kick return for a touchdown. And I was hoping we could get it to him there. It's all right. We're going to run the ball. We... Need to get back on the ground here. Gilman's running the ball like an RB1 in fantasy. But we got a decent PPR RB2 back here. 
Nice little flex play in Ostimo. But McDowell gets his own rushing yards most of the time, and he gets a huge play right here for a first down. Grizz, let's go, guys. All right, now we're going to switch Gilman down to this wheel route and see if we can get him open down the sideline. Let's see. We got our guy, Gilman. Can he run over a man and into the end zone? He does. He hits it. Let's go. Big 10 trucking his way into the end zone. Rumbling and stumbling, as old Boomer used to say on Monday Night Football. Let's see what we got here. Got a couple guys open. We're going to wait. Oh, we waited too long. It's okay. We're going to take that negative one yard. They can have that sack. And we need those passing yards today, so we're going to go deep. Let's see. Oh, we did the wrong guy. We should have run. We would have thrown it to Fonts. It would have been a touchdown. My bad, guys. We're going to try and get it back here with Jason White. You already know. He's got room. White. Oh, he just couldn't get there. Turnover on downs, and it's okay. White's had a rough go the last few weeks. All right, Kirk's talking, but I'm going to try and talk over him. Uh, They scored after we made that bad mistake, and we're going to try and get that back on offense. We missed a wide-open fonts last time. This time, we can't miss Bergen right here. Come on, we got to have him. It's intercepted, no! Gilman has him, though. He knocks him out of bounds. Two mistakes. One interception is not the end of the world, all right? Brody Buchanan, Buchanan, number 10 gets his, and that's okay. He can have it. He's going to eat, but we still have 35 seconds to eat here as well. Let's see what we got. One high safety. We can get him to go press coverage, which it looks like we can. We might have a chance here, and it's all day, son. Bergen has it. Bergen's wide open, and Bergen's down at the 21. Let's go. 27 seconds. We're going to go no huddle. Hold X. Get down there. McDowell's getting right. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, it's too late. We need to throw it away. Save our time. And we have three timeouts. I probably had somebody wide open. You guys are probably going to tell me who it was in the comments. All right, so let's see. We had Ostimo open on this play last time. We could probably find Racanelli on the sideline. Which it looks like we can. We just waited long enough for the route to develop. And we got a first down with number nine. 17 seconds. And that allows for us to run the ball at least once. And it's McDowell jumping. And Gilman carries him into the end zone, but that's his second rushing touchdown of the day, and we're going to try and get him back in the Heisman race with this one. Davis and Pollock, you should be here instead of Herb Street and myself. Second half just about ready to begin. We already know this one's going to be a dub, all right? We can smell the blood in the water. We're going to try and get another one with Bergen and break some records out here. He just can't get to the end zone. I probably shouldn't have juked and just tried to stiff arm or something, but... That dude was way too deep on that kick return, though. I don't know where he came from, but he was flying. He was like a safety on the freaking kickoff. So even though we couldn't get the touchdown on the kick return, we have great field position. So let's see what goes down on this play. I wanted, I really wanted B, but we couldn't get to him. Dantic has a nice six-yard reception. That gets us to a third and short. That's fine. All right, I like running this play because one of these three guys are usually always open. We got our guy, Bergen. Sits down inside the five. 15-yard catch. He's got 73 on the day off of two receptions. The man from Billings, Montana is absolutely outrageous in this game and McDowell is absolutely outrageous in this dynasty let's go three rushing touchdowns and we are trying to do it to him here all right we can get it to fonts wide open down the field no he just couldn't connect it's all right second down all right let's try this right here I've kind of cooked up a play let's see if it'll work might be too much going on but we got a guy. It's Fonts, and Fonts comes down with it. We missed him. He was wide open for a touchdown on the first. I'm glad we could find him there. 
under pressure, rolling out, but we got our guy. Let's go. Now we should be able to do whatever we want here. So I'm gonna bring out the two back set, and we got our guy. Can we get it to Fonts here? Oh, it just hits off the defender's pads. But we gotta run a better play right here. And I think they know we wanted Fonts, so he's out here. We're gonna run Gilman on this wheel route. Hopefully we don't get sacked. And this should be good. I like it. We got Racanelli. Racanelli has been balling all season. He deserves a touchdown. He gets 32 big ones right there. All right, guys, we're up big, so we're just going to keep on airing it out. We need the Heisman. We need the 250 yards. We got our guy right here. It's White. White sits down after 25, and we got a first down. And we're going to let Bergen run the ball here. All right, if he gets a touchdown, so be it. We're going to be happy. He's going to get a nice run. That's second and one. Now we can throw the ball. All right, we're going to come out here, and we're going to be able to do whatever we want. We can throw this wide touchdown. The fonts if we want it if it's there i don't think it's there i really wanted it but we got this guy right here it's ostomo and he drags the foot does he they're gonna review this i bet but he waves that hand we could have got it to him late and guys that was so clutch i don't think they're gonna challenge it so we're just gonna try and run it in here with mcdowell we don't even care what the read looks like because he's got four rushing touchdowns. Count them out on your fingers, just like Justin Jefferson. So not only do we have four rushing touchdowns, we have two passing touchdowns. We have one passing touchdown with the backup quarterback on a fake field goal. That's the end of the third quarter. And we also have hit our 250 yard passing mark. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. Hopefully the fourth quarter will turn things around. You tell them, Brad. It has been a blowout, and we're loving every minute of it. Gilman takes it. Gilman has the first off the screen. Let's go. All right, I wanted to run the ball here, but I think we're going to do a play action because we should have White streaking down the sideline. Let's run it. I think we got our guy. He's got him beat. White has it. He hurdles. Oh, he's down short. We got to run a slant for my guy now. Give him a touchdown. For McDowell, too. We could give him five rushing touchdowns if we need to, but I want to get White a touchdown after I messed him up here. Dang. That looks like a touchdown, though. Come on. All right, let's see who's open. Let's see. We got him. Let's go. He got his final yard. Screw it. McDowell's ball in today, guys. All right, boys, so we are killing them. So we get to see the son of a Montana legend go out there and spin it. And Ayat gets drugged down. He's sacked, but it's all right. He's going to get another chance to show what he's got here. We also have Ostomo taking over as the lead back here in the fourth quarter with three minutes to go. Ayat gets another rush, and he shows a lot more here two rushes for five yards all right i'm gonna change this up a little bit let ayat do his thing at the line of scrimmage i like racanelli running down the sideline here though doesn't look like it's gonna happen though messed up and we just gonna get it away be safe probably could have waited a little bit and thrown it to fonts jason white needs his redemption all right this is a good time out here we got one more home game. We got our guy. It's Ostimo. Ostimo has some room to run. So we get a conversion. Final freaking league. Jason White shows up on the football field. He's been tired from practicing with the basketball team so much. Ostimo kind of bailed him out, if I'm being honest. But it's all right. We got Ostimo toting that rock again. Eight yards. The do-it-all back. And now we're going to show you... A little bit more of what we got coming out next season. We got X Harris toting the rock. Getting a good six yards. There you go. Now we have our two-minute warning here. So we're just going to run this ball again. Give Harris another rep. Let him develop a little bit as a player. But he's going to have to learn that this is big-time college football. So this is a big third and long for our young quarterback. We're going to see if he can punch it in the end zone here. All right. We got our guy. It's Deck. 
deck, fighting for the end zone, and he fights for his young QB. A touchdown for both of the young guys. There we go. Let's go, Grizz, man. All right, guys, since we have 69 subscribers, we're going to go for it on two because we don't care if we get 70 or 69. We will get 70. So hopefully we can at least get one more new subscriber from this video. And we're trying to get 100 so that eventually we can get that 500 subscriber mark. As you see, Penn State wins against Michigan State. They keep their top five ranking. Also, Nevada falls to Colorado State. We play both of those teams, so. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody who has joined the Red Sea, that is everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for helping me out supporting me as a creator because I'm trying to entertain you guys. Hopefully y'all love these videos that I'm putting out. Um, trying to make everyone better than the last. And if you haven't watched my live streams, check them out. Again, y'all stay blessed. And I'm going to leave y'all with this one pretty quick. Uh, I just wanted to drop a decent video in here, even though we beat the brakes off of them. We still hung 70 on these guys. That's what we wanted to do earlier in the season. And that just shows how far we've come as players of this game because I've gotten better not just playing this because it's not Heisman mode but I did do a live stream where I played on Heisman mode we did get better at playing and streaming at the same time but I'm gonna quit rambling thank you so much for joining my channel and watching my content I can't thank y'all enough because every like helps every subscriber helps every view helps and that's it y'all stay blessed and peace